there's a number of people who ask about the camera equipment that I use for shooting YouTube videos. Uh, actually, what I have is rather simple. I started out back with a huge thing that sat on your shoulders and used a VHS tape. And if you wanted it portable, you had to wear a belt with about 12 or 15 pounds of batteries. Otherwise, you had to drag an extension cord. And it, it was a camera, that's about all I could say. <clears throat> then later I bought a Canon smaller one, still tape recording, and uh, which is somewhat easier to use, and uh, used it for a while. It's now gone. But in making YouTube videos, uh, I started out with a tiny little thing called a Pocket X camera. You can see the picture of it uh, in comparison to a credit card to see the size of it. And I made the first four, five, six of my videos using it. Uh, I was into tiny cameras at the time and it just seemed to work out. One of the very first things you need if you're going to do any videos of any sort is a tripod. Now this is a tripod I've had for years and years and years. It's a professional grade, but you don't need anything like that. A $20 one from Walmart works just as well. But unless you have a human who is qualified as a camera person, a tripod is just... Impossible to get by without it. The first really dedicated video camera that I bought for shooting YouTubes was this little Vivitar. It's the same thing as a flip camera. The uh, screen in the back will flip over to where you can see what's going on in front of it, which is handy or close it up to see from the back. Simple controls, did a good job. Uh, it was cheap. The only thing about it, it used AA batteries and it used batteries. It uh, ate batteries fairly fast. It recorded on a, uh, an SD card here and uh, no more tape or anything like that. But the next camera that I got was a Canon A620 Power Shot. And it, it feels like a, a camera. It's a good substantial camera. It also has the the flip viewer to where you can see from the front what you're shooting. But it has a much better lens on it, uh, a lot more features, and it was just a better made camera. And I used it for several years until YouTube changed over from what they call the theater mode, which is uh, the sort of rectangular format to fit the old style TVs and uh, theater screens and things like that to the widescreen. And when that happened, my next camera to buy was the Canon FX400. Now it's a, a fully camcorder with the screen that will fold over to see what's going on in front of it. And uh, it's a very good camera. The only thing about it, you can only use it in your right hand. It's, it's all but impossible to hold and use in your left hand. But it works fine for me in the right hand and, or on a tripod. 
In fact, I have an identical camera to this that's shooting this right now. It's uh, mounted on the tripod, and I got it at a pawn shop for five dollars. They had it; they had no accessories, no charger, didn't know if it worked or not. So I just gave five dollars, and it works perfectly. And I use the same charger and power supply on it that I do for this one. That's my camera now. And another reason for two cameras is a backup. And uh, like on my trip to Washington, D.C., I shot one day on one camera and one on the other. That way I didn't get scenes mixed up or confused. And it was also, if one failed, I had another camera. And finally is this little Nikon point and shoot. It's a handy little camera. It shoot both uh, stills and video, and I've shot a couple of videos with it. The only thing, it being small, it's difficult to hold still. That you get a lot of shake out of it, and uh, it's a little uncomfortable to use in places. It also, like the power shot, uses AA batteries and you have to carry along a bunch of extra batteries but they're available everywhere that that's the benefit of it but i use this mainly to shoot the stills for the thumbnails on my videos uh, you just you can compose and come up with a much better vi thumbnail than what you'd get picking one out of the video in the additional things that i carry along i have this little desktop tripod here it's perfect for holding a camera at desk level or like that and it unfolds. Makes a handy little camera tripod and it will hold it down at tabletop level. And then I have two spare batteries. These are identical. They fit my two Canon cameras and uh, they interchange and then I carry spare Duracells for the cameras that require AAA batteries and finally I carry a couple spare SD cards either 16 megs or 16 gigs and uh, you can get up to 32 and It'll work in most of these cameras like this. I think 16 is as high as I can go in this camera over here. And this one the same way. Uh, this records on an SD card too and it'll take 16 gigs. So that folks is basically my camera equipment. I have thought about some of those high dollar cameras but I, I just couldn't see any reason to buy them. Uh, they wouldn't make my videos any better and uh, they wouldn't give me any better ideas for shooting them but they just cost more and uh, if you lose one well you've lost a chunk of money so you can shoot good videos with low quality low priced equipment used as good and it's readily available so go out and shoot something and the main thing is make it interesting.